I am inside the actual show house that's put together by the Junior League. And this year, it's in East Aurora. Never before and probably never again will it be in East Aurora, but we're blessed to be here. And you, my friend, and I mean friend, Lisa DiCarlo, has uh, been blessed to design one of the spaces. This is your space, right, Lisa? Yes. Yeah. Now, Lisa, you also own a shop called Urban Design. We've actually uh, interviewed you before, um, but you're refocusing kind of what you're doing. Give us a, a highlight about that. Well, when we opened the store, it was really fantastic. If you saw the previous interview, it was all about the, the, the things that we would create inside the store. Uh, just rethinking, that was and still is our big word, rethinking uh, pieces from our past and incorporating them and utilizing them, turning them into something new and fun. And uh, as the store has been open and, and evolving and more and more people are seeing us and talking about us, uh, our, uh, we've been driven more to working in people's homes and rethinking their spaces and rethinking the things that they have and being more efficient and creative and mm -hmm. on-site in mm -hmm. people's homes. And because you're doing that, actually, uh, the neat thing is, and I knew this from the minute I, I met you, but now people are calling you the one to watch. You know, you're, yeah. really, you're really being talked about in the industry. Um, you, you're being recognized by national magazines. Uh, you're on the front page of uh, Eyes Open, is it? Eyes in. Eyes in. I know it's eyes, and they're open looking in, in, into you, I think. But I'll tell you, it is really neat to see the excitement that you're creating in the industry. And you guys have got to come and not only experience uh, urban design, she, you're now changing your hours to Thursdays and Fridays, private showings. Fridays, uh, Fridays and Saturdays, oh, and right. then by appointment only again, so that people come in and I can spend the time with them that they really do need uh, to work on uh, specific pieces of furniture, do private consultations in the store, or in their home. Right. So we're really mobilizing in that way because people do need to see their spaces looked at to make good decisions for custom furniture. And right. Whatnot, and you so. talked about that by you coming into this space, for example, you needed more space to display things in. So you created this bench, which is right behind you, which we're going to show you in a second. The bathtub here. bench. I'm very smitten yes, with that idea. The, it yes. is a wonderful <laughs> idea, the bathtub bench. And it's beautiful. And, and the point of what you were saying, what Lisa was saying, is that she can come into your home, into your business business and you really don't know what you need until you get in there and Lisa can start popping out these creative ideas that pretty much no one else I've ever seen does Thank and um, so uh, you have to be in her presence and she has to be in your presence to figure out exactly the great ideas that uh, need to pop out this building this room tell me about what you've done in here well, the house was built in 1917 and has a rich history uh, in East Aurora and was privately owned through through the 90s uh, before it was purchased by the state. And this year's Junior League uh, focusing on this house has really been an extraordinary opportunity, uh, not for urban, but more just the experience mm -hmm. uh, working uh, in this space and um, uh, with the Junior League has been has been really fulfilling. In this particular space, of course, you know, we're there. There's only here's our walls. We have so much to work with, so we have to maximize that and uh, and create a feeling. And that's what we tried to do in this room, uh, working uh, collaboratively with the tile shop in on uh, in Lancaster, on Walden, who are fantastic. Um, we came up with a space that I think most everybody could envision in their own home, that's and right. they want to pull that bathtub bench up with a glass of wine and spend time in the tub as we all wish we could. And they want to be in this room. It was not that space before. Uh, and that's what I hope when people see the space that they can apply to their homes. Well, I've got this little space and what do I do with it? And how can I make it nicer? And hopefully that's the kind of thing that we represent here. I mean, even to the stones, the stones on the wall, those were handmade stones. Those were handmade one by one by Paul at the tile shop. Yes, yeah. they're concrete that, that, uh, that he individually molded and stained and we put them on the wall and we've been asked time and time again, oh, how fantastic. You had stones on the wall as though the stones were always here, which is of course the goal. Uh, but the stones look like they preceded us, but in reality, 
we put them in here to make the space look more warm and comfortable. And you put them in here? Yes. So not only were they handmade by him, they were hand placed by you. So well, you do all the physical work or most of I, it, don't yes, you? Yes, yeah. I'm a worker. I can tell yes. by those manicures. You and I have the same kind of manicure. Um, you know, also look at the countertop. That is a wonderful raw edged piece of slab of concrete, right? It's another stand? signature piece by Paul at the Tile Shop. Mm -hmm. I've actually been purchasing concrete for various projects from Paul for 12 years. Mm -hmm. He has uh, continued to develop the concrete work and people I think like to put concrete into a contemporary environment or yes. think that that's the only thing that's done but I've used it in in uh, Tuscan style decorating. It's here in this room. Contemporary. Uh, uh, and it's just it's a really very warm and very practical product. Plus you can have it be and do anything you want it to do. Yeah, so it's, it's I love very it. cool. Very cool. Now we don't have a lot of time and I want you to explain to everybody your process of what you're going to be doing, you're looking for neat new spaces. Tell everybody about that real quick. Yes, quickly. well, we're mobilizing, and I think one of the things that people are most excited about uh, in working with Urban is our creative use of materials and our uh, the way we think about space. So we would like to be able to tell that story, show people how to do things. A lot of people, you know, really want to be able to do things on their own and they're not quite sure. So we'll be working on different spaces uh, within that, uh, Western New York, more to come on that. And uh, we'll be urbanizing them. We'll be having workshops that will be as much a part of the store and what we do as the as the tables and everything else that are in the store that we do. So. And, and, and showing that through seminars, you're yes. saying, within that space. Yes. So you're looking for unique Spaces. There's an artist in every single one of us, and mm -hmm. I think that'll be fun. I agree with that. People have fun with that. I cannot wait to follow you around because <laughs> I am going to go to every one of those spaces and learn about it. Look, at, I need you to tell us how to get a hold of you, how to make sure that you get a hold of Lisa because she is something that will truly change your life. The one to watch, my Lisa DiCarlo girlfriend. Tell, tell everybody how to do that, baby. Well, the best thing to do really is to look us up on our website or on Facebook. Uh, the website is www.urbandesignreclaimed.com or you can see us on Facebook. Yeah. And uh, see what we're up to, see where we're at, see what our store hours are. As I said, for now, they're Friday and Saturday or, or by appointment. Um, so, But you can contact me through the website. We can make appointments. We can... Do yeah. anything We can takes. do anything. Everything is possible. Yes, yes, it is. That's a great way to end this because everything is possible and it can be done right in your own home or business. So give her a call and stick around because we will be right back. Thanks, Lisa. Thank you.